tropical epoxy. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna work on this beach piece while well, she is. I'm just gonna watch and comment. <laughs> so she's oh, mixing up the epoxy, the which this is, which brand? This is Just Resin's Diamond Coat. Just Resin's Diamond Coat, and is that a one-to-one -one ratio? It is a one-to-one -one ratio. Awesome. B2B. So what we're gonna do, right now we're just mixing our resin up, so just give us a couple minutes to do this, and then I will walk us through. But basically what we did yesterday was our first coat of um, a color coat, and what we did was <laughs> we used two different colors of tints by Color Obsession. So this color that we did for our lighter turquoise, it was uh, turquoise seas by Color Obsession. And then we also did, I believe it was deep blue. Deep blue. And Bondi, I- No Bondi, right? No Bondi. I'm doing Bondi right now though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I found some. So uh, I get all my tints from Erica at Artists Till Death. That's where I order all my pigments and tints and dyes and everything. <laughs> so. so today um. you're doing the second layer of waves. Right. right to add some little more yes frothies yep i'm gonna do a second layer i like to always do a second layer even sometimes a third if you feel like it needs the piece needs it or if that's what your customer wants um adds i like more depth yeah it adds yeah. more depth exactly art is all about layering so my initial layer was spray paint um i did a sand um spray paint which oh, is yeah. the rustoleum stone spray paint right on the board Thank you. And then, so oh, the yeah, it's a textured paint. Textured guys. paint. And so we did that for the sand. And then we do just regular spray paints. Now you could do any variation of spray paint as far as like your lighter aquas to your mid blues to your deep blues. I I don't remember what I used for this one. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's sorry. okay. Various Rust Oleum colors. But you want to try story and, short. you know, fade, fade your colors from light to dark. And then um, what's that stingray over there? So this is a. <laughs> It's like an acetate insert, and it's actually a giant manta. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you place these into your first coat, and then what I'll show you in just a little bit is how we're going to blow a wave right over top of him. So it looks like he's swimming under the wave. Cool. cool. And this is our after hours class, you guys, on the live. <laughs> this is like uh, everybody has left except for the really cool people. Exclusive. Yeah, so this is an exclusive yeah, training, bonus. the bonus round. Good comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And hey, Veronica. Hey, Janice. Hey, everybody. I Thank you for joining. When you guys weren't looking. I know. I see. I, I magically seen moved it. No, she didn't. The manor ray yesterday was here. Yeah. yeah. And I, I noticed. Put it, I moved it to here because. Giant manta rays. Otherwise, it's if, gonna be like on the sand. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you know anything about these creatures, they don't swim in shallows. Really, they're more in a. They're more of a deep, mid to deep water animal. So I moved it because it to me, my eye did not like it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna move it. And I, my resin was wet enough that at the time I moved it, and then I just like rubbed this out and heated it up, put some resin over him, and he's good to go. Cool. And one other keynote is she did sand in between these layers. You always want to sand when you're doing your second layer of epoxy, so it has something to stick to. Yes. Oh, you did that already? I did that. Yep. Also, so while you guys weren't looking. <laughs> I saw it. Somehow I was looking. Marcy was watching. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is um, pour. Kenny, we're live. Behave. No. <laughs> I told everyone they had to behave because we're live on my channel. We'll see what happens. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, 10%. <laughs> Where's everyone tuning in from? I saw some, I think Canada in there, Oklahoma. We're also gonna put some halo in it. Let's tell them. So um, Go. we're gonna put, so what we're doing right now behind, I don't know if you can see this over here. Is it wide view? Um, yeah, I can see that. All right, so we are mixing our, we mix our epoxy. And what we're gonna do in just a second is add some color obsession Bondi blue tint to this one and then some color obsession sapphire blue to this one. Mm, nice. So we're switch those less. And then what uh, we're gonna do here is mix some color obsession snow white for our waves. And I'm about to add in a little tiny bit of halo, silver halo glitter, which I also get from Erica at Artist Till Death. Yeah, and it's similar, that one's similar to the diamond dust, but it's more iridescent, so it has the different colors. 
-hmm. like holographic. It's a little more holographic. Yes. There's more color. Yeah. I have not done this yet. So we, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Good. Just we'll don't find out. Too much. Much. Right. Yeah, just tiny, 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 yeah. tiny yeah. bit. Yeah. So we're going to add that to our clear. <laughs> don't be scared. Don't be scared. Right, Rhonda? Rhonda, move forward. <laughs> don't be scared. Move forward. Be great. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Add some into oh, that Oh, she's going white. crazy. I like a lot of glitter. I know some people don't, but... This is a, a, a Las Vegas wow. beach, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> lots of glitter. <laughs> lots of so we've got lots of Canada in the house, Florida, <laughs> Arizona. Welcome, you guys. So what we're going to do is... Hey, guys! <laughs> and you can check out Tropical Epoxy on her Facebook page. So yes. I'll put the info in the description later pending um, me remembering. Uh, but I assume you can just search up Tropical Epoxy. She's yes. based out of Florida, out of the Keys. So she can do you some beautiful beach furniture, countertops. <laughs> Anything you want. Huh? Floors. And floors. Yeah. Beach floors. Nice. On concrete. That's awesome. <laughs> But I have a paper towel. Yeah, um, she, she's, she's, she's gonna. Do she's that. got yeah, twenty assistants. <laughs> <laughs> How are we looking, guys? Well okay, done. I'm gonna go ahead and get our clear out. Let's get it out of the cup. So I'm gonna start with our clear and go right on over the sand that we already did yesterday. Now I know I'm gonna put a wave for us here. I know that I'm gonna put a wave right here because yesterday I kind of cut myself short, and you can see the water is here yeah so I'm gonna put a wave here because I feel like it will make it look more natural yeah and I'm gonna pull it up this way so I know that I'm gonna put a wave there so I'm just gonna put my clear and pro tip there. make sure your your piece is level always make sure it's level yesterday we did not do no, that we were kind of in a rush <laughs> so so it kind of and if I don't know if you guys can see from the camera view online there in the live um, what happened it, was it yeah. When your piece is not level with your with your beach and your lacing, you will lose a lot of those really pretty and detailed cells that you get. Which ones? The rocket ones? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. I just got some of them in the mail. I haven't tried them yet, though. Let's, um, yeah, I will. You want to put some of those on me? Yeah. These are both good. Thank you. Guys. Yeah, I like that one. So, what do we got? White? We got Bondi? Is this Bondi? Mm. Yeah, I want I think more everyone's in Bondi. A little bit more. Looks like an alcohol in it. It's a tint. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interference? And that's color it's obsession. A yeah. Like color a dye. Obsession. Yeah. I usually do deep, too. That's, that's my go to. Bond, Bondi and deep. So, while you're mixing, I'm going to jump in here and show these guys. And this is cool. Rhonda. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hey, guys. Rhonda <laughs> Trickulis, RK3. All right, so the, these are really cool. These uh, are called rocket levelers. I can't tell if I'm in the... Yeah, yeah. And what they are, they're, they're the ways to level up your piece. And you twist. And you can level it up. They have two kinds. They had one with uh, a pointy top. And then they have the flat top. So they really <laughs> work good. Uh, you just have to be really careful and make sure that they're underneath the piece so that you don't get epoxy dripping on to your uh, the spinner and they're by um, they're called <clears throat> rocket levelers I can see that I can't tell and then they are by uh, Firefly <laughs> speaking of things Firefly Innovations <laughs> And I don't know, uh, Marcy said she had just got some. Are yeah, you gonna I just have... got some in the mail. I'll be doing a video on them okay, soon. Good. Yeah. All right, cool. so stay tuned to her channel and she'll give you some more information. Yeah. But they're really cool. They, look they are really, really cool. cool. Yeah. I can't wait to get some. Don't let me leave without getting some. <laughs> <laughs> you sell them? No, not yet. I will be. You, oh, okay. I have a coupon code. But oh, nice. It sounds like you're going to donate those. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just assuming. Just assuming. Like okay. I think um, this angle's a little better. Anyway. I'm already overweight in my carry-on, so or my 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 bag. So. 
Okay. Yeah. I can't take anything more home. Did you get the beef jerky? All right, so what I'm doing is I am just going and making sure that I'm not adding more ink to my clear because that's not really what we want. Um, I am just coating my sand with, and address your edges always. Get the edges. Is that Kenny? Kenny. Kenny, yeah. yeah. Kenny says, right. get the edges. Don't forget your edges. And guys, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Yeah. I will answer them or I'll get Whitney to answer them or one of the other random people here will answer. Someone will answer. That's true. Can't guarantee the accuracy, but someone will answer. That's true too. <laughs> <laughs> we will do our best. Ooh, I like this halo. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Got that little sparkle in there. Sparkle in there. Hello from I Indiana. I feel like I'm sitting on a boat in the Keys and I'm looking down at the reef and it's just sparkle sparkling. I'm just visit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> visit your beach. I'm going to put a margarita in my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have, I have a recipe. No, it's, yes. oh. it's, it's awesome down there. Oh, I've been. That's beautiful. Hello from Orlando. Ooh, Orlando. I used to live there. Orlando in the house. Heck yeah. Washington so, State. Um, before I put my white down, I want to get my entire board, my surface area coated completely in epoxy, and then I like to torch and then do my white. So okay. that's what we're going to do. And I notice these pigments are quite transparent. They are. So the point of that is, because uh, I've already done one color coat, yeah, that'll help I really want to depth, see, yeah. right, right, I yeah. want to see underneath. Because um, the ocean is really not single leveled, right? It's multi-leveled. You look down over the edge of the, the boat or if you're at the beach, you're looking in the water and you can pretty much see, you know, underneath. Yeah, lots of depth. The bubbles, the waves. Yeah. Sometimes I even pull my deeper blue into my lighter blue. I like to do that. We got Tampa in the house. Cool. Lots of Florida. Floridians? Yes, oh, represent. Got to represent the Florida people. What's up with the gas situation in Florida right now? What's up with the gas what everywhere? everywhere? What am I going back to? <laughs> well, I just want to stay here with. I know, I want to. Can I just stay forever? Right? Oh Me my too. Gosh, I'm at the gas Can I move in? Here. It's supposed to get there. I clean really well and I like to buy it. You're hired. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll watch the horses and the dogs. <laughs> Nova Scotia, Canada in there. Cool, Nova Scotia, that's pretty awesome. On every table still. I haven't ever been there. Yeah. I bet it's cold up there. Uh, there's two big ones hanging off the cart right there, too. Does anybody have questions? Not yet. Not yet. Everybody's just saying, oh, it's so pretty, and they want to go to your beach. Come down. I'll go to Key West. Oh, we got Rosenberg, Texas. Another Tampa. Three dollars a gallon in New York. That's so cheap. Wow, that's yeah. cheap for New York. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. In Los Angeles, it's like four fifty per gallon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have everyone beat or not. But... You don't. No. How yeah. much is it where you are? No, you, you very much for that. Like, oh, you're, you're the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst. The I know. Worst. You're the worst. <laughs> you're saying we are memorized. We're mesmerized. You're right. Tampa to I know what's going on. So I'm just going to torch these bubbles, these initial bubbles out. Number one, it gets rid of the bubbles, and then if there's any thinner spots of resin, it will help it all melt together. Like right here. Which I'm really because I have like everybody it. reporting their gas <laughs> prices now. Uh. Who, brought up, who has the highest who gas prices? Who brought up gas? 317 in Oregon, 319 in PA. <laughs> All right, so we're going to add some white. No, no, no. This is really good. Yeah, this is really good information. Keep going, you guys. Yeah, I need to know this. I need to know what states to visit. No, they're not chewing. Lenny, there's a booger. He's got a booger. A booger? No boogers. I don't like those. Did I get it? Yeah. See that, Um, This is just resin. Resin. Just resin diamond, diamond coat. coat. Just resin, <laughs> resin you can also diamond get coat. America at Artist Till Death. Which Artist Till Death sells. Yeah, there you go. There you go. 
I've uh, never used this, so I can't vouch for it, but Whitney thinks it's great, I think. So far, it is. So far. My second this day. Is her second you time using it. I like it. Erica I really like it. it. Yeah, if Erica swears yeah. by it, then. Yeah, yeah. Erica it's awesome. swears it's like the best thing to get cells for the beaches. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So. There's so a lot of boogers the though. cells. All right, so we're going to add our first yeah. wave. So I like to do my sand wave thicker. Okay. Um, when you go to the beach, if you've ever gone to the beach, I hope everybody does, because it's awesome. Mm. The wave that comes in on the shoreline is usually foamy. Yeah. The edge of it, and you get a lot of bubbles right yeah. on the surface. So that's what we're going to go for. And she and has her epoxy can, in a paper cup that she's just squishing. You know, everybody do it the way you feel is best. If you want a more abstract beach, go for it. I like more natural. So whatever you feel, if, if that's what you're going for, go for it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do a little more. This is an MDF board, you guys. And you start pouring off the board first. Prime Always MDF. start your pour off the board. If you started your pour over the board, you'd have a big glob of white. White goes a long way. I know you guys have been yeah, Especially so with beaches, yeah. A little bit of white goes I mean, a long way in anything. Like mm -hmm. So if you, worst case scenario, start with less white, mm -hmm. and then you can always add more. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at my next mm -hmm. wave. I'm gonna go ahead and here. <laughs> Thank you, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> this is the creative director over here. He's doing a good job. Really good. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do is torch and then use our heat gun. So what I do is I go ahead of my wave wherever I'm going to add heat. So I'll heat this area up right here because I want really fluid movement. I don't want it to be gelled up and sticky. Yeah. And then we heat gun right away. And you have one of the attachments there to this is, directionify it. Not a back tarot. Exactly. You used that other one yesterday, right? I like this one. I like the cake tip. Yeah. You used the cake tip. Yeah, right? You got the cake tip Where is the cake tip? She took it. She took it. No, she took it. Oh, unbelievable. Bummer. I was for it. Oh, there's a regular, regular size. You want to do regular? You want to try the regular? Oh! Now she's got regular. Crunch it. Yeah, just knock it off that duck bill. Yeah, it's hot. Don't touch that, yeah. Yeah, it'll burn you. You touch yourself, you know, you touch me. This is not working. This is why I like the cake tip. Yeah. Because you can really easily burn your resin. Yeah, I mean, real quick, it'll burn it. You want that tip back on? She's looking, Whitney. We are looking for a different tip for the heat gun. Okay. okay. I hate it. I'm not a heat fan. Do you want to try tilting it while you're doing it? Thanks, Sylvia. Yeah, that yeah, might be a good idea, actually. So. All right, we're going to leave that alone. I watch a lot of videos. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so used to using that cake tip. Yeah. Erica, where are you at? <laughs> I just checked all the things. Well, the good news is you can always do a third. Let's not close it anymore. Leave it, put it down. Yeah, I'm looking. A third set of waves if you'd like. Yeah. I'm going to move the right off. I'm going to move the right off. Regardless, it's still pretty subtle and I, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Sylvia. It's beautiful. Hey, Tish. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a little less subtle than what I wanted, but it's still pretty. Mm -hmm. 
I know, why is that? Maybe the pigment we put in the resin. Maybe. But it does give it more depth. Like if it's hey, do not touch this. <laughs> like, really, yeah, be careful. Really I'm not going to touch it. Hot. <laughs> Don't let it Your white cup's over there. So I feel like I, you, I'm going to go ahead and add more white to it. Yeah, yeah do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Do it. You got this. Um, that's the torch. Thank you. So I'm going to... I don't know if I recommend this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You, you, you don't do what I do. Don't do yeah. what I do. Not not with plastic plastic. Do what I say. Yeah. So someone suggested... Let's see. Uh, to run the heat. Hmm? Maybe. To run the heat gun down the line with the platypus attachment and then go back and push it. But she did preheat it. I pre torched with the, the torch. Line. Hey, Clara. Long time no see. Hey, Clara. Clara. Yeah. I miss you. I miss you. We miss you already. <laughs> Come on back. Yeah, Clara. I didn't even know you left last night. Hello. Yeah. She said she, she had to last night. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I couldn't sleep. I went home. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. My favorite <laughs> phrase. Yes, I know that's right. Yeah. Claire said sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> hey again, y'all. All right, we are going with some more white. We're adding a little more pigment in there. But I think this is beautiful. Yes, yeah, true. B-E-A-U-T. Oh, come on. It's not where you're looking. I don't like it. Okay, it's okay. I like it. I, I changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> you know, the more you guys do this, the more you'll really get comfortable. Yeah. And it's also when you're using new products. Yeah. It's, it's you know, you never know. It's tough. To gotta, know. gotta go with the flow, make it work. Really running out of weight. I'm out. You know, there characters. there is this stuff here. It's called epoxy. You yeah. know, I didn't know that we were in a place that had some. I know, I know <laughs> someone. You know, <laughs> someone brought up yeah, somebody. To get the hookup. We're gonna do it one more time and hope that we have enough to go over that man, the, the man array. Yeah. yeah. Is this uh? What do you know? What the working time is with this resin? I actually don't know what the working time is. Um, it's not. It's deal. about thirty minutes. I mean, uh, thirty minutes or so. Yeah, and at, okay. and at the last little yeah. bit it's going to be okay. real sticky yeah like it's quick. not going to be quite as fluid as and then the manta ray isn't totally black it isn't it actually has more like a photo negative it has, depth. it has like parts of it that are gray yeah <laughs> you want to take it again yeah there you go claire Let's try this first. I just sort of poured more white. <laughs> Do you think we're near the end of the work time? Not quite yet. Um, I just wish I had more white. Do you have need? What do you want? Yeah, white with just resin? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I don't have you want me to make some yeah. Oh, you don't have it? What white are you using? Oh, uh, Snow White color obsession. You're not out of the white. It's okay, we just need to have. We just need to mix more. She's not okay. even a resin. We just need to mix more. mix more. I just didn't mix enough white. Anyway, anyway but so everybody is cool. loving it. It is awesome. Yeah, you got. Hey, what's that? <laughs> that came out good right there. Yeah. That's going out not, good. But I put this here so that I wouldn't oh. mess up your pretty plastic, but then yeah. she did that. I wouldn't even do that so y'all could do this. I put down the extra pieces. Oh, where's the bag? I think now you're mastering okay. that really one. Yeah. It's so um, really different, like working with a different resin and different stuff. You're not not your heat gun. Yeah. Not your, not your normal, <laughs> not your normal tip. Whoopsie! We lost power. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Back on. Thanks, guys. Teamwork. Thanks for dreaming. Thanks, guys. You're the best team ever. So for this last wave, I want this white to be gone. I don't want it. I want it to be subtle white 
So I'm gonna push a lot of this blue pigment over it. Very nice. Because these swells that are coming in, they're not as funny. And then what I'll do is sometimes you lose your animal. <laughs> You gotta go back and like review them. Yeah. He's hiding. He's in there. He's in there. I just gotta help him. I kind of try to push it away enough to. Yeah, we lost him, but it's okay. Oh, he's coming through. He's coming through. Oh yeah, he's, he's there. Oh. Okay, I know you guys can't see this, and I know she says she's not happy with it, but this is stunning. Mm-hmm. Aw, stunning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. I don't know. Okay. I think it came out great. I think it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It looks like this so 3D here. It I think does. we need a shark right here. No. <laughs> no. I'm not going to swim in that. With some I, just, I, think I think I need to touch it a couple more times. Yep. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> Walk away, Rhonda. <laughs> Walk away, Rhonda. Check your edges. Do you want me to hold there it and go. get a little closer for everyone to see? Yep, we're good. Um, sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, you got this. Oh, we're doing I'm going to turn us around if everybody's yeah. cool with it. Here we go. So, let's get in a little closer and see some of these cells. Have you ever got this one? Not in resin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there might be a first off. <laughs> Whitney will be the one to do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can everybody see pretty well? I think the second swell coming in is my favorite. Yeah, the second one is my favorite. And there's our mana, our giant <laughs> mana ray. So it's what you're going for. Personally, I probably would not have put any more white on this last wave and left it alone so you could see the manta a little better, but it still came out really well. And you can see those under waves from that first layer yeah yeah you really can it, is it really gives a great depth it really yeah. does that's it so i'm gonna torch it one more time and then i'm gonna give you guys back to marcy try not to make anybody sick you know yeah <laughs> we're going at slow stuff oh slow oh you wanted to be in there because you are what did you do to this okay she moved it so <laughs> the end marcy i just tilted okay. this up <laughs> You can tilt it down. Someone said you should add the unexpected gator. <laughs> like a gator. <laughs> I so want a gator. Uh, right? Is there I'm such a, a thing? I'm a bulldog, so I don't like the gators. But <laughs> I'll do whatever you guys want. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we are going to continue the live for another few minutes. And I'm going to do a quick acrylic pour demonstration. Cool. So this is an epoxy class. But these guys... Um, are brand new to acrylic pouring. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what I did so want though is the the people that were helping me mix yeah. earlier. Mm -hmm. all, yeah. I was hoping that you. Well, I wanted to show you the difference between like ready to go and not ready to go. So see if you can tell which is which. This is a test. So they helped me to mix some colors earlier. Ready to go. And? Not ready to go. It looks like ready to go to me. Okay, now mix the other one so you can see the difference. Switch. Because you mentioned earlier syrup. Like a, yeah. Syrup. Do you see the difference? Yeah. This one's very thick. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you I watch a lot one. of your videos. <laughs> you there you go. You made it softer. Okay, so we have a pro it? here. You which one was ready? The green or the black? <laughs> that the black. one's ready. Yeah. 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 So this is thick. Like even if you just like hold it up, you can see how it falls off the stick versus that one runs. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna add a smidge of water here. A smidge. A smidge. That's an official measurement. Absolutely. So many different than your measurements. Yeah, I don't some. measure. <laughs> yeah, how much you want? Some? <laughs> can you some more? Can you grab a couple of these cups, Rhonda? Or like yep. four? Like four? Okay, who wants to help me? Mary. Oh, of course. I'm here. <laughs> okay. So I think we will do a multiple split cup, or not split cup, a uh, flip cup pour. So I'll do, I'll pour a cup and then you can pour one. Rhonda's getting some more. So what we're going to do is you're just going to pour the colors in here. No, I got one. No, 
Um, and you can pour them as slow or as fast as you want. Any color? Yep, whatever colors you want in any order. So I'm just pouring mine right down the middle. We've got a bunch of really fun colors in here. Pretty much fill up your cup to the top. Come on, Mary, get it. <laughs> get to work. What am I doing here? Get to work. There's nothing neat about this. How many, how many are you doing? Four is good. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Flip yeah, unless you want to do one too. What am I doing? Here? <laughs> what am I Just doing don't here? fill it up quite to the top. Put paint in it. Oh, well. <laughs> She's throwing me an empty cup. I don't know what's going on. I'm, re I'm reading your comments for you to let you know anything. Shoot. <laughs> She's like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chewbacca <laughs> going on over there. <laughs> oh, chewy. So these are uh, actually, I think, pretty much all Masters Touch no, paints. Um, and they're mixed with my normal ratio two thirds slow trial to one third paint with a smidge of water. Some of these are some custom colors that I made. So don't ask me to list the colors. So get the cup almost to the top, like probably to that top line of your cup would be fine. Whoop. Or do That's that. in a cup and a cup right there. That's Just put that in anywhere. Bad. Yeah. We're not flipping quite yet. Yeah, not yet. Can you put white? <laughs> and you when you're done with that, just set it on the canvas so it can drip off. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm done. I'm full. Here, you no, get after it. Get it. <laughs> Too much gloves. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hands in here. See if you can count how many people. <laughs> I've kept 62 people. <laughs> all the hands, all the hands. Okay, good. We have almost there. <laughs> this person is an octopus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I am. You must be new to my channel. <laughs> Team effort. Yeah, we did a, a tree ring earlier. First time most people had seen a lot of... Most people had seen the tree ring. Oh, man. Yeah, we can get all the paints out of there. That's not being stingy. It's not me working hard. It's just not working. Did you call her grain? No, he did not. He did not get slapped. And then, <laughs> and then, just like resin, you guys can do this what? with empty cups if you want. Are you really trying to make me? There you go. This weekend, aren't you? I'm not done. <laughs> so, for those who have tuned in slightly later and have no idea what's going on, um, I'm in Texas at RK3 Design Studio taking Rhonda's pro class, pro epoxy class, but we're doing a fun random acrylic pour lesson. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, do you guys remember which cup was yours? No. I don't either. I think this one was mine. So we're gonna do what's called a flip cup. Normally you do this on one canvas, but you're gonna have to be fast. Ooh. Oh, are we flipping around? Yes. Wow. Get in there. Oh my God. Flip it. Get it Octopus. on the canvas. Okay. Here. Yep. There you go. Sweet. Make sure it's you're still good. in there. I'm gonna rotate this a little, like that. There we go. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Sticking in my. Hand. Yeah. Well, I did get epoxy on it earlier. Oh well. <laughs> you can't blame it on me then. Well, I, I can. <laughs> I can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm moving these to the middle a little bit so that I can have most of the paint there and not at the edges. This is quite a wide variety of colors. We had some um, rose gold in there, some coral, some gray, some teal, blue. So there should be a, this is a 16 by 20 canvas. There should be around 20 ounces of paint on here. Give or take an ounce or two. 
Yeah. Yeah. And it's always fun with a group. You never know what you're going to get. I was not watching them pour these colors in at all, so who knows? <laughs> and there's a, a cow in the room. No, it's my phone. Oh my goodness, Rhonda. Oh no. Okay. Oh, it's Chewbacca. Okay, we're not having any fun. <laughs> Don't come to this class. You won't have any fun. Get it. Get, one little corner. Get it. <laughs> you want to put them on your finger? Oh, yeah, he got it. Okay, so this was a five cup flip cup. Just another really fun technique. Not the greatest to do on a, a countertop in place, but if you can tilt it, it's fantastic. Oh yeah, of course. You can do this on anything. A table, countertops, whatever. I bet you can even figure out doing it on a floor. It sits still. Yeah, if it'll sit still. Or even if it doesn't, but I don't pour on things that are alive. Usually. That's pretty. Unless it's my husband. <laughs> yeah. So this is a great one to do with like a group of people because they can each do their own cups and they can each do their own colors. I've done this with classes of kids, like a big group, and then you get like a classroom painting. Okay, yeah, that's just like today. I do this with classes of, you know, five-year-olds and stuff. That's awesome. really cool. Okay, any last minute questions before I sign off? You usually spill it on the floor. Does that count? Absolutely. That's how I paint my floors. <laughs> and my deck outside. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for joining me on this completely random live. If you are just tuning in, you can watch it on the replay. We did a fun beach at the beginning and then a totally random acrylic pour. And see you all next time.